Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is calculate the Pearson correlation coefficient for the following data. So we have data set for x and y and here is the variance of the answers. In order to solve this problem we are going to use this formula and as you see the first step would be for us to find x bar which is mean of the x data set. So how we find mean? We have to add these numbers. So 12 plus 8 is going to be 20, plus 5, 25, 28, and 30. So 30 we have to divide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 30 divided by 6 is going to be 5. Now let's find the mean for data set y. 1 plus 7 is 8 plus 4, 12, plus 6, 18, plus 4, 22, plus 2, 24, divided by 6 is going to be 4. Now let's say what we see in this parenthesis is going to be a, so let's put a on top, and what we see in this parenthesis is going to be b, so let's put b on top here. Our following columns is going to be a, B, A times B, and A squared, and B squared. According to the formula, now we have to take numbers X, which represented here in the column X, minus mean of the X, which we have found is 5. 12 minus 5 is going to be 7. So let's put 7 here. 8 minus 5 is going to be 3, so 3 here, 5 minus 5 is going to be 0, 3 minus 5 is going to be negative 2, 2 minus 5 is going to be negative 3, and negative 5 here. For the column B, take a look, we take numbers from the column Y minus y bar, which is mean of these numbers. If we have here 1 minus 4, we are going to have minus 3. 7 minus 4 will give us 3, and then 4 minus 4, 0. 6 minus 4, 2. 4 minus 4 will give us 0, and 2 minus 4 will give us minus 2. Third column, or a times b, which is going to be this part of the formula, is going to be easy to find. We just have to multiply a by b, and we have a and b numbers. For example, in the first row, we are going to have 7 times minus 3 will give us minus 21. 3 times 3 will give us 9. So 9, 0 times 0 is going to be 0. Minus 2 times 2 will give us minus 4. Minus 3 times 0 will give us 0. And minus 5 times minus 2 will give us 10. Next step would be to find a sum. So we have to add minus 21 plus 9 plus 0 plus minus 4 plus 0 plus 10. And we are going to get here minus 6. So we have found all this information shown here in Nominator. Now let's find square of A, and this is going to be this part of the formula. So we are going to find this part of the formula, square for A. So 7 squared is going to be 49, 49 here. 3 squared is going to be 9, and 0 squared is going to be 0, and minus 2 squared is going to be 4, so 4 here, minus 3 squared is going to be 9, so 9 here, and minus 5 squared is going to be 25, 25. And now we have to sum these numbers. So 49 plus 9 plus 0 plus 4 plus 9 plus 25 will give us 96, 
six here. And the last column, b squared, we have numbers for b minus three squared is going to be nine. So nine, three squared is going to be nine, zero squared is going to be zero, two squared, four, zero squared, zero, and minus two squared is going to be four. Uh, what we have found, we have found numbers in this parenthesis. Now we have to find sum of these numbers. So let's add these numbers. 9 plus 9 plus 0 plus 4 plus 0 plus 4 will give us 26. Now final step, person correlation coefficient r x y would equal to, we already have found the number which is represented here in yellow square box, which is minus six. So minus six divided by square root. Don't forget that we have square root here, square root of 96 times 26. So A times B, let me put B here, 96 times so we have found 96 here times, and we have found 26. So 26. And this is going to equal minus six over square root of 2496, or minus 0 0.100, 20. And as you see, this is answer A. We have found negative weak correlation. And as usual, don't forget to plot the numbers in the scatter plot. And we will see that there is no correlation between these two data sets. Those calculations show us weak negative correlation. And probably if we will have more data, we would be more sure if there is correlation between these two data sets or not. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.